we can all use a little bit of luxury in our lives. Maybe you splurge by getting extra guacamole on your burrito or by buying two-ply toilet paper instead of one ply, but some people take treating yourself to the next level. In this video, we'll show you some ridiculously expensive versions of items that we all use every day. During the video, we'll treat you to a fun trivia question. Don't worry, it won't cost a thing, but be sure to keep an eye out for it. It may not be dipped in platinum or studded with rubies, but the subscribe button will make sure you don't miss any videos from The Richest. If you're already subscribed, make sure to hit the notification button and join our notification squad. Bottled Water while some people can't wrap their heads around paying a couple bucks per bottle for water, others will happily pay for the convenience. However, since disposable water bottles create a lot of waste, many people are starting to rethink the way they hydrate and invest in high-quality, reusable water bottles instead. Artist Fernando Altamirano took it a step further and created a water bottle that he priced at $60,000, although he did intend for the proceeds to go to charity. It's known as the Aqua di Cristallo Tributo a Modigliani, and it's not filled with any old spring water. This bottle contains spring water gathered from France and Fiji combined with glacier water from Iceland. To top it off, just a pinch of gold dust is added. The bottle itself looks like a work of art and of course it's crafted using 24 karat gold. Altamirano drew inspiration for the bottle by looking at art created by the late Italian artist Amedeo Clemente Modigliani. Imagine being able to pull this water bottle out of the gym. If your bench press doesn't impress your fellow gym goers, maybe this opulent water bottle will do the trick. Pizza Many of us think of pizza as a guilty pleasure. It's greasy, cheap, and we can get it delivered right to our door. Being able to order food online and having someone else bring it to us, for some of us, that's the ultimate in luxury. Although we do also enjoy occasionally going to a restaurant and investing in a quality slice, it's hard to imagine paying $850 for one pizza. But that's what you'll pay if you want to try the Cine Pizza from Richmond, British Columbian resident Steveston Pizza. Each pizza is is handcrafted by the restaurant's founder, Nader Hatami. The shop prides itself in using high-quality organic ingredients to create incredible flavors. A glance at Steveson Pizza's menu will make it clear that these are no ordinary pies. Some are topped with everything from Alaskan king crab to caramelized duck confit, but none are quite as extravagant as the Cine. This 12-inch pizza is covered with tiger prawns, lobster ratatouille, and Chilean smoked steelhead salmon. If those swanky seafoods are aren't fancy enough for you, the pizza is also topped with Russian Ocetra caviar and Italian white truffles. Soap while soap is something that we use every day, well, most of us do anyways, it's not something we usually spend big bucks on. We may indulge in a particularly pleasant fragrance or get a body wash that promises to eliminate wrinkles and exfoliate our skin, but most of us don't want to invest in something that ultimately gets washed down the drain. One family-run soap business in Lebanon set out to create a soap that was fit for a king, or anyone who could afford the massive price tag. Khan Al Sabun Badr Hassoun and Sons has been making soap soap for hundreds of years and specializes in natural and organic beauty products. Their Qatar Royal Soap is known to be the most expensive in the world. It's infused with diamond and gold powder and uses virgin honey and olive oil to soften your skin. One small bar of this soap will set you back $2,800. According to the company that produces it, it was designed to showcase the quality of handcrafted items available from Lebanon. It is also meant to make fabulously wealthy people feel even more more extravagant than normal. For the rest of us, we will just have to settle for regular old body wash. Bathroom some of us might refer to the toilet as a throne, but jeweler Lam Sai Wing took the term a bit literally. He was actually inspired by a quote by Vladimir Lenin, who claimed that a golden toilet would be the ultimate symbol of capitalist waste. Although it wasn't supposed to be taken as a challenge, Lam Sai Wing decided to create not just a golden toilet, but the most expensive bathroom in the world. It's located in a jewelry shop in Hong Kong, and to use it, you must first buy over $100 worth of jewelry. Oh, and you'll have to 
to take your shoes off before you enter to avoid creating any scuff marks. If taking off your shoes to use a public bathroom makes you cringe, don't worry, this bathroom is a little nicer than the one at your local gas station. It features two 24 karat gold toilets encrusted with gemstones. Almost everything in the bathroom is gold, including the toilet brush, toilet paper holder, mirror, and wall tiles. Thankfully, the toilet paper is the old-fashioned kind. To top it all off, rubies, sapphires, emeralds, and amber were used to decorate the ceiling. It's estimated that this bathroom costs over $5 million to create. Soup Soup is usually one of the first things we reach for when we are feeling under the weather. We associate it with feelings of warmth and comfort, and there are few things better than a warm, hearty bowl of soup on a cold winter's day, especially if it's a delicious homemade soup. Although most soups don't take three whole days to make, this insanely expensive soup also has an insanely awesome name. The Buddha Jumps Over the Wall Soup is one of the most expensive soups in the world. It got its name from legends claiming it is so delicious that Buddha monks would leap over the walls of their monasteries in order to break their vows and consume meat because this soup is just so amazing. It originated in the Fujian province of China and can contain up to 30 different ingredients depending on the recipe. At China's Shang Palace restaurant, some of the ingredients include chicken, fish maw, abalone, sea cucumber, ginseng, bamboo pith, deer tendon, wolf berries, and mushrooms. Other restaurants are known to add ham, quail eggs, and even shark fins. A single bowl of this soup will set you back around $200. We wonder if it soothes a cold better than our classic chicken noodle soup. The cheapest thing on our list is actually free. Enjoy a free trivia question courtesy of the riches. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, what type of sandwich is the most expensive in the world? Shower. While showering is something we do all the time, it can be tricky to get the temperature just right. Especially if you're using an unfamiliar shower at a hotel or a friend's house, it can seem like you're trying to solve a complex puzzle when you're fiddling with the knobs. However, if you've got $100,000 to spare, the Silver Tag Shower is a much easier to use option. Instead of manually turning a knob, you control this shower with a color touchscreen. The touchscreen controls 18 different shower heads that are aimed at certain zones on your body. These six zones are over your head, shoulders, upper torso, lower torso, upper legs, and lower legs. You can adjust the temperature and pressure of each individual zone. So if you want your body to be nice and warm, but you don't want to dry out your delicate facial skin by using hot water on it, you can just make the water from the overhead zone cool and everything else piping hot. You can also use pre-programmed sequences or design your own. And in case that isn't awesome enough, it can also be configured with lights, sounds, and even aromatherapy. Shoes. Whether we need them to play sports, protect our feet, or just look great on a night out, shoes are something most of us use every day. The most famous pair of shoes are the ruby slippers worn by Judy Garland and featured in the movie The Wizard of Oz. While Dorothy had to drop a house on someone to score her pair of glittery red shoes, you'll have to drop a few million dollars if you want your own. At three million dollars, these ruby slippers are some of the most expensive shoes in the world. In the novel The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the shoes were still silver instead of red, but the red shoes featured in the movie have become iconic. Former head of Harry Winston Inc., Ronald Winston, spent two months creating these gorgeous shoes for the 50th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz. While the original ruby slippers were decorated in sequins, these slippers are covered in 4,600 rubies and accented with diamonds. So far, the only person fortunate enough to wear them was Judy Garland herself, perhaps because genuine ruby slippers are out of most people's budget. Although that's a shame because they look amazing paired with the next item on our list. Purse. If there's one thing we love as much as our precious shoes, it's our handbags. And if diamonds are a girl's best friend, this purse might be enough to forfeit the rest of our purse collections altogether. Of course, you'd probably have to sell off all your other purses to afford the 1001 Nights Diamond Purse. This exquisite handbag is officially the world's most expensive according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Its estimated value is an incredible $3.8 million. It's in an eye-catching heart shape and is encrusted with 4,517 differently colored diamonds, 105 of which are yellow, 56 of which are pink, and the remaining 4,356 are colorless. The total amount of diamonds weigh an amazing 381.92 carats. 
The bag itself is handcrafted from 18 karat gold. To create this masterpiece, 10 artisans worked 1,100 hours over a period of four months. It was unveiled at the Doha Jewelry and Watches Exhibition by the House of Mawad, where it was an absolute showstopper. Co-guardian of the House of Mawad stated that the purse is designed to mesmerize with its lavish attention to detail and elaborate workmanship incorporating thousands of diamonds. And we'd say the purse accomplishes that, although some may find the multi-million dollar price tag even more mesmerizing. Coffee how would you like to sit back and relax with a nice warm cup of cat poop coffee? No? Well, what if we told you that it costs $80 per cup? Fine, stick with your boring beans while we pour ourselves a cup of Kopi Lua coffee, also known as cat poop coffee or civet cat coffee. As opposed to regular coffee beans, the beans in this hot cup of gross are partially digested coffee cherries that are found in the feces of the Asian palm civet. The civet cats eat the ripe coffee cherries and then excrete the coffee beans which they are unable to digest. Fans of the coffee claim that this unique fermentation process gives the resulting coffee its unique flavor. After they're collected, the beans are washed, dried, and roasted. And just as free-range chicken eggs taste better than the ones from a factory farm, it's said that the coffee from free-range civets is superior to that produced by cage civets. While a domesticated civet will eat anything you put in front of it, a wild civet will select only the finest coffee cherries for your drinking pleasure. It's recommended that you drink this expensive coffee black to fully savor the rich and hearty flavor as you contemplate the journey those beans had to take to get into your cup. Frittata don't be fooled by its name. The zillion dollar lobster frittata isn't really a zillion dollars. That would just be crazy. This delicacy can be yours for the much more reasonable price of $1,000. It's sold at the restaurant Norma, located inside the Ler Parker Meridian Hotel in New York City. Not only is this the world's most expensive omelet, but you'll have to bring a friend or two to help you eat it because it's both quality and quantity. You may be used to a two egg omelet, but this is made with a half a dozen eggs. Added to the eggs are 10 ounces of exclusive Sevruga caviar, cream, chives, and an entire lobster. There is a smaller version available for a mere $100, but that's not nearly as opulent as dropping a grand before noon. It's also reportedly quite tasty. While some expensive dishes rely on gimmicks such as edible gold leaf, chefs at Norma want their patrons to feel like their money was well spent by creating a dish that tastes as good as it looks. So what type of sandwich holds the title for most expensive sandwich? It's a grilled cheese. Sold by the restaurant Serendipity 3, the quintessential grilled cheese is sold for $214. If you were to create your own award-winning expensive sandwich, what would you put in it? Would you add caviar and foie gras or try to reinvent the classic peanut butter and jelly? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching The Richest and don't forget to like our video before you go. If you decide to stick around, we have a lot more great videos for you to enjoy. See you soon!